with the VMS, we can uh, track our milk yields, and we never had anything for tracking milk yields, you know, per milking. So that was a step in the future for us. And, and then the MDI is a measure of the quality. And then with the herd navigator, you go one step farther and you're catching them before the somatic cell. So we can hopefully catch these cows, like with mastitis, sooner rather than later. Get them treated or check them out before they have a problem. That's the main way we're using the technology, and as far as breeding too, is the same way. We can use all the functions of the robots and the herd navigator in com combination to get the cows bred as timely as we can. With the herd navigator, we, we our vet ultrasounds, we used to do it at 30 days, for checking for pregnancy. Now we've skipped that step with the vet and we're just checking the cows that are about 80 to 90 days to make sure they're still pregnant. And we, it took us a little bit of time to trust the machinery. You know, we did some, did some 30 day cows and everything looked good. And so we stepped away from checking those. And so the vet is using the herd navigator for more of like our problem cows, uh, cystic cows and stuff like that. We'll look at those harder than just pregnancy checking a bunch of cows now. And he's real happy with it, and we've been real happy with the way that's turned out.